Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Stellaris. We are going to pick up where we left off, having uh, been doing a little bit more colonization in a bunch of our, uh, our in our sectors here. Uh, basically taking all these planets that are now colonizable and sending people over to them now. Something I'm thinking about, uh, I want to take a look at my policies here. Let's see, migration. Right, so um, no, so only my, my primary species can 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 um, can move around, but any of these secondary species cannot. That's okay. It's kind of the way I wanted it. I want my guys to be able to move around as best they can. Um, that way, people will move will will naturally move to planets that are more habitable. It's kind of the way I like it. Uh, my sectors are pretty strong, pretty powerful. I, um, I'm, I'm kind of used to playing, and in other games I've been playing, I've uh, gotten either techs or government types that allow me more, more planets, so I'm used to having more than five. Defense stations, fortress, uh, minerals, 5%. Quantum missiles, tier 4 missiles. Armored torpedoes. Let's get the engineering facility. We have powerful factions. It's the Adiks up here. They're not happy, but I, I wouldn't expect them to be. That's what, who's, no, that's one of mine, that's mine. I thought they were up here. Like, here maybe? Construction complete. On this moon? Yep. Well, let's see. National corrupt. Okay, let's just do this. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that the, that should help. I, I'm fanatic xenophobe, so what do I care what the Deeks think or the Adeeks think of me? All right, two of these. I uh, don't no, just one. One of these moons. Um, all Adeeks here as well. I don't care what they think of me. They're uh, kind of they're 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 just there to to be uh, slaves. Uh, they don't they don't serve any other purpose. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna enslave all the Deeks. My people can move to those planets if they want to. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we could forcibly resettle. I don't necessarily want to put any of those slaves on my planets. I don't think having slaves and being a fanatic xenophobe is a good combination. Uh, in retrospect, because nobody wants to live on a planet with alien slaves, and I don't really like enslaving my own people. Mining stations out over there. These new planets are going to be in, well, this one, where's this one? Right here. Okay, so that one, probably get absorbed into the midge down here. Got the Midge, the Sly, Colonius Sector, and the Chunky Sector. After I forgot that I named it was um after my three mods and, and one of the newer uh, Patreon donors. Colony established. Right, so now we're Colony at seven. This one is right here. So it looks like Sly is gonna get a, uh, gonna absorb some new land. I can't, I can't keep, keep it for myself, really. So we're looking for the sly. What we're gonna do, go, go through, is actually just give them this, the edge here too, like that. That's fine. I don't really, I, I'm not a huge fan of how, um, this, uh, how the ma managing um, sectors work right now. I'm okay with it. It's it's okay, not great. I like that the sectors exist. They're easy to work with and things like that. I don't like that that you have to give up so very much of uh, the income from sectors to be able to use them correctly. So the midge. So 
let's finish that there. All right, that's fine. That's fine right there. Colony established. All right, so we got that covered. Deeks, the desert world. All right, right, it's pretty much just like we're our people aren't very happy to be there, so we can use it as like a breeding ground, perfectly fine. I don't think we have synthetics. No, we just have droids. We don't have synths yet. Border range is going to be cool. Uh, it's going to pop out my borders a little bit. I do. St uh, I I've said it before. I'll say it again. I do wish I had a tooltip that would tell me when. Um, there's a couple things I wish. Um, I wish that I had a tooltip uh, that told me exactly what affected borders. Um, well, you're not a fanatic xenophobe. You're just a regular xenophobe, and you're a collectivist. I'm actually trying to straight that that fanatic xenophobe thing. It's cool in theory. In practice, I'm like, meh. A lot of people aren't aren't too terribly thrilled with. Uh, the, it looks like they've lost it a lot. So slavery tolerance, defending xenophobe. Yeah, there's there. So we're gonna we're gonna make a whole bunch of people who are more happy to live with other people. All right, that's okay. We'll work with this. Um, we're gonna do mass colonization. What was something I really, 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 really wish I could do is right click. Or, or either click here, say colonize, and it would give me a drop-down list of every single, um, uh, uh, like different ethics group, um, every 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 different um, you know species and whatnot. Everybody who lived in my empire, every different kind, and I would be able to click it. It would make a colony ship from the nearest planet that had that you know pop on it, and then it would automatically send that ship over to that area. That's, I think, would be absolutely 100% ideal. That would be ideal. Uh, I don't... Th that's probably not a thing that's going to happen every, any, anytime soon. Uh, I think patching is going to take a while. A lot of more, lot more plant, especially at this stage in the game, mid mid game, when there's all of a sudden tons and tons and tons more planets that you can work with. Although I don't know if, like, you have to go here. The Adiks can come here, but not me. Migrate forests, cover with lush forests with massively, massive trees, and now there's uh, analogs rising hundreds of meters in the hundreds of meters. Colonists have found that nearly all the floor is mobile to various degrees. Of course, stretching for miles will slowly migrate to new areas, return nutrients. This so that seems to be tied to the planet's orbits. Fortunately, it seriously hampered our efforts to develop the colony's infrastructure. The migrating trees frequently cut power lines. Oh, okay. Uh, Situation that's kind of cool. I've never seen that one before. I want to study them. I don't want to burn them. I want to study them. They sound cool. They sound really cool. So yeah, let's see what's happening. Well, let's study these migrating trees. Um, finishes and fi go to. Do I need a ship there? Probably need to send a ship. Research project. Yeah, needs a ship there. I feel like, cause I'm a fanatic xenophobe, I either need to work. I, I either need to collect, you know, try to move away from that or completely embrace it. Um, I, I'm, you know, since I've I've made this, my my mood towards fanatic xenophobes have kind of changed, so it's getting a little weird. You know, like I love that it says it's a tropical world, eighty percent, and but that's only for the Adiks and the Mathens. I the Adiks I can send over there. Well, so but but to get to do that, it's it's it's. Oh, I just smacked my microphone. Apologies for that. Um, it's it's too many steps. First, I have to go manually, basically manually find a planet to have a Deeks on it. So let's let's grab a random planet. Surface. Okay, these are all so spaceport. Uh, doesn't have a spaceport, so I can't even build it here. Um, let's give it missiles then. And let's try a different one. Uh, this one over here doesn't have a spaceport either. 
Because I blew them all up, didn't I? See, I'm, I'm, I'm already annoyed with it. Spaceport. This one has a spaceport colony ship. Uh, so here we have some Adiks. So they are uh, xenophobia, xenophobia and fanatic materialist, fanatic materialist, regular materialist, and xenophobia. Uh, this is individualist, xenophobia. So let's take, like, fanatic materialists, I guess. And we'll, we'll send them to uh, uh, start slave populations on tropical worlds. It's just, it's too much, and then you, ha you it's going to create them, then you're going to have to go and find them. It'd just be so, so simple if you could just be like, boop, a dig, click, and it makes one and sends it over. Construction complete. Oh boy. Uh, I, it, it's just, just little things like that, mostly. Just little things. It's nothing huge. It's really not anything big. Um, special project complete. Special, uh, we have learned the roaming forests avoid certain regions that are home to colonies of a native pseudo insect. Secret of firm will be used to steer the wandering trees away from population centers, where the forest most frequently range have been closed off as natural reserves. Okay. Wandering forest reserve added. That's this planet, right? No. Was it this one? I thought it was that one. Is there two in here? Is it this one? Construction complete. I thought that was way over here. Well, where where'd I put my science ship? Or is this one right here? Docile wandering forests. So that would be construction complete. This one. Add research to neighboring tiles. Okay, that's cool. Construction complete. All right, so all those colony ships finished up. Now, another problem I have is I just made multiple colony ships with multiple different uh, species. I am not aware. I just like looking at the models anyway. I'm not aware of any way to actually te tell what pop is in here. Construction complete. Um, like this one. I have to assume, based on where it was, that it's not an Adix one. But like this one, this would be an Adix one. Or, let's see, this one should be Adix. No, that's the transport, but I thought I made two. The rest of them must be regular. And we should be able to work with the desert planet for our people. Colonize. It's a weak planet, but I'm 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 in mid-range colonization mode where everything is is worth it. Basically, just trying to get my population huge. Although I mean, it's, there's not a, a huge benefit to making a massive population, but there is some benefit to it. So we're gonna send all those guys out, start up a ton of new colonies. Who did I lose? I lost a scientist. I need to recruit a new one. Uh, so let's see, we've got uh, rocketry, uh, industry. Yeah, we're gonna take the industry one. That that fits in over here because we're we're working on engineering facilities right now anyway. All right, let's make sure we merge these guys together, and we should probably go through, make sure our spaceports are all upgraded to the appropriate levels. I think we already did this, but I'm just double checking. Uh, this one's not. All right, so um, counter. Uh, we got a new menace to, to take a look at. Research that. We can also go through here and 
build in things like de uh, extra defenses. Assemble yards. Looks like we already... A lot of these already have that stuff on it, but just making sure. Yes. Deeks. Okay, good. Um, do I want more battleships? Do I just... I can't even remember. Well, let's take a look at my fleet here. I see one battleship. So I must have... I must have actually designed it. Yeah. It's pretty bitchin' too. Okay. I'm okay with that. So let's let's increase our fleet power by building battleships. That's one, two, that's three. Build. That's four. Four new four new battleships for a total of five. I think that's good. Five battleships, each at about 1,050? 1,023? That colonization drop-down menu is what I want the most out of the game right now. That would make things so much better. I would also like to be able to customize the colors for the sectors so that they they aren't just, pay, you know, that pale white. Just be like, click it, maybe, or maybe set them up as... Yeah, yeah, just, just to like... Or, 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 like, come in here. Uh, manage sector, change the color, something like that. Five colonies, four colonies, seven colonies, three colonies. So that's ten. That's nineteen worlds. With hundreds of pop. 150, 159 over 25 worlds. And then there's droids, there's mathen, uh, and there's a lot of adiks because we did conquer them. There's a lot of adiks. Oh, and we got another colony ship. I think that's an... Wait, um... I don't know what kind of ship that is. We got a tropical and a continental. So let's go to the tropical one and see if we can't colonize it. Oh, see, it, it, if you if you do it like this, it shows you... This is what I want, but it only shows you the existing ships. Construction complete. And it doesn't tell me that it, which ones are used up. That's continental. I can't can't go there. That's Arctic. Ocean? Can I can I go to ocean? So if I went, in a summary, colonize. Twenty percent. Well, uh, what what if we just say screw you? I don't care what you think. Colonize it. Oh boy, I love this game. Um, it re I feel it really shines on multiplayer, uh, especially. Uh, but I think I think it'll be ideal after two, after probably three DLCs come out from it. Uh, there are specific portions of the game I feel are lacking in so in certain aspects, and I'm really looking forward to those getting fleshed out. Missiles. Let's get those missiles going. 22 months till border range. Um, there's I, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of little things. There's nothing huge. There's a lot of little things I wish were different. Well, there are huge things as well, but it's like, um. I think diplomacy should be fleshed out, but that's probably something that'll get an entire DLC devoted to it. And this Deeks is such a crap planet, isn't it? Nobody wants to live on it. Does it have a, uh... A what's it called? Hang on. Like a pleasure dome? Can I replace it with... Monument to Purity. I can do that. I can replace it with a monument to purity. That'll make it. That, that'll make them a little bit happier. Happier. Sixty-two. Six. Uh, I, I call each pop a billion people. Sixty-two billion enslaved people. Colony established. More colonies going. Populations increasing. 
So we're getting proton torpedoes done. We're getting bo border range is cool. I love the border range tech. I, I'm pretty sure that your 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 border pressure. I just saw it plop out on the, on the southern edge of the the borders uh, the of the empire right down here. I just saw it blump out. I think I'm pretty sure it's connected to your population um, and tech. But I wish I knew precisely. I wish I knew exactly how it was connected. Colony established. Mm, is, there might there's a, so, something I, I I wish that I had, and I want to see if I if it, it's actually because I haven't actually it's not something I've actually looked for before. I want to look though. A species. Uh, let's search Adiks. Nope. Uh more more usability through here would be good too. Like say I wanted to get rid of all robot pops in my space. Like a menu to draw a right-click menu to get rid of them, or enslave everybody in my uh, enslave, uh, emancipate everybody, uh, purge everybody in the instead of going through every single popula uh, populated planet, especially which is especially hard when you have them all in different sectors and stuff. And we have the plutocratic oligarchy right now. We don't have access to advanced forms of government, energy credits, and minerals. Are any of these other ones better? Construction complete. Minerals, minerals, building time, slavery, mineral output, slavery, complete. food output, building cost, slavery, mineral output. Oh, Star Empire would be better. But I think we'll leave it as it is right now. So those cruisers finished, or those battleships, three of the four of them I built finished up. Complete. Good. Uh, and we're in the negative on energy now. Colony established. Another colony has been finished. Um, I, I don't have any problem with other races being in my my like over here. These guys should, other than the fact that they're like a, a subjugated race. Well, I'm living here. It looks like that's my people. Is it this one? No, nope, that's mine as well. I thought this was one of the ones we sent the Adiks to. Well, guess not. Fidgeting. Near sentient natives of Sarah. Batuga have caused a ruckus on the outskirts of our colony. Something about the interstellar mesh band director. Its continued presence were visibly visibly agitates them. It's packs of them scurry to and fro between the settlement's borders. Okay, so the grotesque creatures were not bothered the colonists again. Influence gained 40. So I think we killed them. I think that's what that was in <laughs> insinuating. We destroyed them. Established. More colonies. Love these battleships. I'm still pretty convinced that's a graphical bug that there's no turret right here. But I haven't really looked into it. As you know, each of these other hard points has a turret on it. Except for the one in the front. There should be two larges there. Pretty sure they fire. Like, that works fine. They just don't appear there. Which is funny. All right, that battleship's about to complete. Construction complete. Good. Uh, doop, boop, 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 boop. And we're going to merge. And we are down to negative 11 at the moment. Complete. Colony established. And I'm hope maybe we maybe we can go through and help this out a little bit. No, well, that's not going to help it out. More power. Well, we would need more power. Is there any places we could build power stations? Well, that helps a little. Happiness 20, slavery, alien slavery, max happiness 20%, money. So it's not going to go any higher than 20 because of the habitability here. Which is unfortunate. It's making this place very kind of unusable. Deeks is not a great planet. What are, what are making you unhappy? Slavery. I thought you wanted slaves. I made everybody. No, they, I guess they don't like it anymore. Collectivists and fanatic xenophobe. It should be perfectly tolerant of slaves, but it seems like they didn't actually like it. Huh. Okay then. 
Uh, some problems with rebels. Not, not, not huge though. I mean, this was a lot higher. This was like 24, I think, before. Now it's down to 15. Okay, I don't think there's any more. Well, who's over? Here? That's Ocean World. We can actually, we can actually do that. And we have access to terraforming gases and terraforming gases and terraforming liquids. What if? What's? Hang on, I got an idea. Um, Deeks, construction ship. Deeks terraform. Oh, I already have the terraforming station there. I was like, I can't build the terraforming station. It already exists. Arid, tropical. So we. It is desert. We'll turn it into arid. That'll be more habitable for us. Neutron Torpedo. We just figured the port Proton Torpedo. Uh, shields, Advanced Shields. We can just skip right over this one and go to that one. Plasma Accelerator, Cloud Lightning, Subspace Sensors. Guardian Point Defense, Physics, or Torpedoes. Let's just skip ahead, get some really good shields. And I think what we'll do is wait until our border range tech finishes up and then call this an episode. Uh, I, I, I didn't even, I don't know why I wasn't terraforming Deeks. Because we like Tundra and it's desert. Uh, arid is closer to Tundra than desert is. Simple as that. And if we want to, I don't think they will, uh, the, the AI will go through and do that themselves. So if we, let's see, this is Asteroid Impacts, Asteroid Belt. There's nobody on this planet? I have a... I have an Adix ship somewhere. I don't see it on the list. Oh, you know what? I bet it was because it was made up here. God damn it, that's so... Mm. And I don't think there's any place to put them. Not any good places, at least. Well, there's a tropical planet right there. Survey system. We'll figure that out. Ooh! Ooh, I like that. Habitability. 5%. And also unlock tomb worlds. And did our borders pop out at all? Um, it looks like they did. Yes, it looks like they popped out a little bit and grabbed us a couple more systems. But we're going to leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like. Leave those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Stellaris, just subscribe to this channel. And I will see you next time.